In this video, I'll be covering problem three for the test review, the six problems where you have to solve. This thing is on my nerves, keeps popping up. All right, so remember the first step for solving any type of equation with radicals is to remember first isolate the radical. So for 3a, the first thing we have to do is isolate this square root of p by undoing this addition by subtracting 36 from both sides. And then it's still not isolated. It's being multiplied by the by a negative 2, so we need to divide by negative 2. And that will give us positive 18. Now that it's isolated, our second step is to square both sides. And oops, we actually raise it to raise both sides to the power um, of the index. So this is 2, understood 2, so I'm going to square both sides. So we get p equals 18 squared, which is 324. Now, of course, I taught you to make sure that you store your value. So let's do 324 store as x, and then substitute it back into um, the original equation. So negative 2 square root of x plus 36, and if 324 is a correct answer, we'll get 0. And we do, so that tells us our answer is correct. Next, for B, um, we see that the radical is isolated on both sides. Because it's the cube root, we actually will cube both sides. Cubing a cube root cancels it out, leaving 5C minus 6 equals 3 cubed, which is 27. Then it just becomes a linear two-step equation. Um, 33. So 33 fifths. So let's check it out. So 33 divided by 5, store as x. And then I'm going to type in cube root. So I go to math, 4. 5x minus 6, and if it's correct, it will come out to equal 3, and it does, so we're good. Now, C is different. Notice here we have a cubic equation, so um, no radical here. We're just going to use inverse operations. 402 plus 30 is 432. 432 divided by 2 is 216. So if we take next the cube root of both sides to undo x cubed, the cube root of 216 is 6. So let's take our value of 6 and store it as x and type in 2x to the third minus 30. Oops. If that's correct, then it'll come out to equal 402, the original answer. Mm. And it does. Next, for D, we have a radical on both sides, so it's already isolated. Next, we square both sides. So we actually are going to get rid of it entirely, and it just becomes a linear equation to solve. So I'm going to subtract the smaller of the two variable terms and just solve it like normal. So I got seven halves. So I'm going to store it for x. And this time I have my variable on both sides, so I simply need to type in the square root of those on both sides. So. I'll look back here at D and make sure I type it in right. So square root of 7x minus 6, hit enter. Square root of 3x plus 8, hit enter. They do match. Sorry, couldn't see that with a reflection. So that means that our answer of 7 halves does work. On E, we're solving 3x squared minus 81. We isolate your x squared term. Divide both sides by 3, and we get 27. 
then we take the square root of both sides. Now remember, we don't know if this positive, this x squared has a positive or negative value, but when we square it, we do get 27. So we do need to include the possibility that it could be positive or negative. And then next, of course, we want to break down our 27, and we get 3 and 3 and 3, which is 3 square roots of 3. So make sure it's simplified correctly, okay? So if I type in 3 square root of 3 and store that as x, then type in 3x squared minus 81, hopefully it'll come out to equal 0, and it does. If I take negative 3 square roots of 3 and store it as x, and then type in the problem, you also get 0, so both of these solutions are correct. Next, for f, we want to isolate this radical. 7 is not being subtracted. 7 is positive. To eliminate 7, we have to subtract 7 from both sides. So we get negative the square root of 8k plus 5 is equal to negative 1. Remember, a negative in front really means a negative 1 in front. We isolate our radical by dividing both sides by a negative 1. Next, we would square both sides and then just solve like normal. And I get negative one half. So let's take our negative one half and store it for x. And then go back to our original problem. Seven minus the square root of 8x plus 5, and hopefully it comes out to equal 6. It does. Uh, put it where you can see it. It did come out to equal 6, so our answer is correct. Hope that helps. Good luck on your test, guys.